going to start Edgar with a steam towel. Favorite part? The favorite part. Mm -hmm. Don't want it too hot on your face. Feels good? Mm -hmm. Alright. We're going to come in a little hotter with the second towel. The face is already adjusted to some of the heat, so we can go a little hotter here. Especially important to get the chin and the under the, you know, the mustache area, get that fully softened because those are the most difficult areas to shoot. A little bit of the oil, not too much. And your fingers. As I'm applying the oil, I'm feeling for the growth direction of the hairs. Because on our first time around, we'd like to go um, with the grain of the growth. And then we come back the second time around and I get a smoother, closer shape by going against the grain. This in the center. The shaving brush, and then we dip it into the heat, the hot water. And we use the lid of the, the jar to bring up the weather. Applying a circular motion to lift the hairs up and off the skin so that the blade can grab it easier. The short strokes you start shaving with the grain using the dry cloth to stretch the skin to make a flatter surface. The flatter the surface, the easier it's going to be to shave. The cheeks are always the flattest and the most. I always want to keep the skin tight. I'm lifting the nose a little bit to give it a little bit. Tighter, smoother surface. Then with our first time, we'll repeat that process. Come on, your chin. It's important to choose the proper um, type of products to go with your skin type and your hair type. It depends on if your hair is coarse or fine. Um, if your skin is oily, normal, dry, or sensitive to prevent um, chafing the skin and residuals. Again, stretching the skin and covering it up against the grain. Your beard, if it feels smooth, then that's with the grain. If it feels stubbly, then that feels against the grain, and that's the way to go the second time over. Because usually with the cold towel, that will close them down. If it's any more severe, you can always keep a styptic pencil. Oh, sure, yeah. You just the end of the styptic pencil and dab it where the blood is coming from. So now we're done with both directions and we're going to come in with the coal towel to close down the pores. And the cool is soothing to the skin. And apply just a little bit of pressure with the cool towel to the area that may have a nick on it. Also with the cool towel, wipe off, wipe off any shave cream residue. The last step is to apply a shave balm. It is more of a creamy texture, um, no alcohol, and not watery. This is to soothe the skin, re-moisturize it, and also has a cooling effect. Always be gentle with your skin. This is just a little trick that we use to Dry the balm and to add to the cooling effect. Thank you so much. You're